Your heart, me hearties. How's everybody doing? Um, today, whoa, that was quick. Today we're actually going to go and we're going to hunt down Jean Lafayette, um, the third ranked pirate in the world, because he's not not all that far away from where we are, and uh, I think it'll be easy enough to do. So, what's that? Oh, a royal galleon. You know what? It's a really nice ship. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll not. I'll not do that. It's a really nice ship, though. Damn! Just too good for my own good. Why did I... yeah. Oh dog, stop barking downstairs would you? Spanish ships everywhere. Hope I'm going the right way. What's this? Stade Bonnet's treasure south east of Havana. So, today's... yeah, so today we're going to take out Jean Lafayette, the third ranked pirate in the world, and then we're maybe going to go and hunt down uh, Steed Bonnet's treasure. Um, for any of you who have played Assassin's Creed Black Flag, you actually run into Mr. Bonnet pretty early on in the game. Uh, I'm just realizing though, right now, um, we ain't got no food. Let's pull in here and uh, buy some because that's not good. It's not good at all. Having all the money that we have is good for nothing if there ain't no food, so. Really, that's... That's all, that's all that they had? Oh, for God's sake. Right, tavern. Um, we need more pirates, obviously, because you can never have enough pirates. 25 more men. Veracruz. They're paying decent money for spice. Okay. So Sean Lafayette has a lightning quick low slash ability. Catalina can give me copper plating. Okay. I don't think... I don't think I need any upgrades, do I? Ah yeah, but it seems like the only upgrade I don't have actually is, is copper plating, so... Catalina, where's that from here? Zoom out. Or don't zoom out, that's... That's fine as well. Um... <laughs> Catalina. I'm assuming it's not too far from here. It's not normally Santa Catalina. Would that be it then? That's not too far. Um, hopefully Jean Lafayette's ship, whenever we destroy him, has a, a lot of food on there. Otherwise we, we will be in trouble. Oh, we've got no food left already. It's not good. It's good to this Indian village. They're friendly. That's good. Um, trade. Food, please. Oh! Tangle the piece for some goods. That'll do. Um, sail away. There he is. That was lucky, right? So he's got 20 guns and 136 crew versus our 32 guns and 247 crew. So I think we'll be okay. Again, though, you're seeing now what a lot of the pirates tend to do is just charge at you. Um, they would prefer to duel than to have a ship battle. And yeah, look, that is Jolly Rogers Red. That's nice. And you know what? Let's let's do that then. Come here, Jean Lafayette. That's what you all want, isn't it? You want to see me sword fight? So there he is, the man himself. This is going extremely easily. He has 97 crew left, we have 222, and he's. If I hit him one more time, I win. Oh, nice dodge, Mr. Lafayette. Ha ha! Take that. Goodbye. Um, it's a brig, 70 tons. A decent ship, but nah, it's okay. So there we go. Um, we got some food. And that's, that's a lot of gold. Dragging up right there. Um, okay, uh, 5,800 gold pieces. I'll take that. And the third most notorious pirate in the world has been defeated. So, 
let's see where we stand. We're number five. So, in three episodes, we are the fifth most notorious pirate in the world uh, in three episodes. That's great. So, um, right. Let's go and get... I want to go get Steve Bonnet's treasure, but I also want the iron or the copper plating upgrade. So we'll go southeast a little bit to Santa Catalina. Hopefully that is the place where that upgrade was, and I didn't just rush through the conversation and not read it properly. But if it's there, we'll purchase that, uh, and then we'll go get Mr. Steed Bonnet's treasure. Um, I can't even remember, to be honest with you, who it is we're at war with. I think it's France. So any French ships that we come across as well, I, I am going to attack. Most likely, depending on what the conditions with the wind is like. Um... World's End... No, I'm not going to any of those places. Maybe I should take like a detour this way and go along the coast just in case there is... Towns... Oh, there we go. There's a Dutch settlement. Consult with the merchant. Always oh, offering big money for that. We don't get none. I'll take the seven tons of food that you have though. And you know what? I'll take eleven gold apiece from a spice. I will. Port Royal. Luxuries. Twenty-five. It's nice. Captain Kid. He's like right beside where we are. Um, we're not going to fight him. This episode. I just. I don't want to fly through this. Uh, Florida Keys buying some goods, but they're French and they don't like me. So. Let's see if I can get a good deal for anything in the Pirate Haven of the World's End. I cannot get a good deal for anything. But I will buy more food. Yes, I will. Okay. See, the thing is, obviously, because I've got more crew now, the food lasts less time as well. There's Captain Kid. I'm just going to leave him alone. can't cope with defeating two of the top ten uh, in a single episode, to be truthful. It's just too, too fast, that progress. Too fast. Come on! Oh my god, right. Um, we're nowhere near there, right? I'm going to cut and come back whenever we're <laughs> back at Sunday Kelly now. Okay. Uh, yeah, see you in a sec. Yeah, we're finally here. You, you don't even want to know how long that took. Honestly. So, um, merchants first of all, we'll see what we can do. Pretty much nothing of use, but again, I'll I'll take all the food as I'm running out. <coughs> Tavern, some crew, Porto Cobello, don't really care. Captain Kid, I know that he... Yes, I know, he's right here. I know. And again, he's telling me to go visit Florida Keys. So let's speak to the governor anyway and see if we're due a promotion. Yep. I'm a colonel. Colonel. However the fuck you want to pronounce it. Um, nah. You're too plain, love. Sorry. Shipwright. So yeah, repair and I'll get my copper plating. Repair this as well, and I suppose I'll, I'll give it copper plating so it can move a bit, a bit quicker. Um, yep. Sail away. So it's back then to Havana area. Am I right? For the treasure. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Let's see if any of these missions are closer to where I am, though. We are not. Um, okay, we'll go to Villa Hermosa instead of going way back up to Herm uh, Havana and taking the <coughs> uh, and, and getting the treasure. Then uh, we'll go. We'll go capture Mister. Not M Farthingsworth. X Farthingsworth. Um, it's a family of criminals. Debauch criminals. They should be ashamed of themselves. Right, you know. Should really go north then. I'm actually realizing that pirate raiders 
in the Inwar canoe. Um, that deciding to side with the Spanish in this game uh, at the beginning really makes it kind of boring. Um, just because the majority of the ships you come across are Spanish. The majority of the towns that you come across are Spanish. So, what we're going to do is we're going to betray them a little bit. Um, let me go here first though and again see about getting some food because it's a desperate situation. It's just desperate. Don't tell me about St. Eustace. I only want unique items. Give me unique items. Do, do, do. do you have more food? This is going to be a really boring episode, isn't it? Ba, 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 ba. Just constantly sailing around, stopping at every single settlement, begging for food. Right, okay, so Captain Kidd then is the captain that runs this town. That's cool. Oost Rotterdam. Food, please. Alsace. So this is French. Um, it wouldn't be unrealistic to assume that there may be a French ship passing back here some point soon. And uh, if that happens, I wish to attack them. Because I'm such a nice guy. So, here we go. This is something that I really wanted to find. Um, Mysterious Traveler off to sell you a one-shot pistol. This newfangled weapon just for during close combat. I'm going to take it. So, the next time we get into a duel, uh, you'll, you'll see, basically, uh, exactly what that's for. Um, it's really good, though. Uh, I really like having that. There's Captain Kid heading back into to port and all that. God, we're still a fair away from there, aren't we? I don't get what my crew are unhappy about, though, you see here. They're, like, giving me the slumpy face emoticon. Bart Roberts, another pirate. They're just everywhere. Everywhere. I would love more crew, but I can't afford to feed you at the minute, so... No thanks. Shut up, Bart Roberts. There's a lot of pirate havens around this part. Um, previously, when I right sided with the Dutch, and you start like basically the other side of the map, um, there's practically like nothing <laughs> like that. So, you know what? I really want to sell my stuff um, and then part ways with the crew because I was, they're not happy right now. Uh, they're not giving me the sad face. So the best thing to do would be to divide the plunder. Um, hmm. But I've got so many tons of goods sitting there that are doing nothing right now. Um, where's Florida Keys from here that apparently is worth? Fuck me. If we can get there, we can sell the goods, we can make even more money, and then divide up. It's hard times, right? Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut on the way to Florida Keys. Uh, if I get into a fight on the way there, I'll come back and you can see the fight. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you in a sec. And. Yeah. So, folks, desperate times call for desperate measures, and we are fully betraying the Spanish right now. Um, we have no food, essentially, um, and nowhere seeming to sell enough food to keep us going, so I've decided to attack this trade galleon uh, and take their food. However, again, the wind is against me. The wind is always goddamn against me, so don't know if we're actually going to get to take it off them or not. Apparently, we're going triple their speed, though, which is a good sign for, you know, what our aim is, but... Chain shot that so they hopefully can't move. Hopefully it doesn't damage them too much to the point where the ship sinks. Okay, good, the ship isn't gonna sink. Um it's just the sails. 
So, go! Oh my god! This is so tedious, isn't it? I literally cannot go that direction. <laughs> oh dear. Someone needs to teach me how to actually play this game for sailing against the wind. This is cray cray. I can't even catch up with a ship that isn't moving. Really, they had four tons of food. Are you shitting me? <laughs> oh my god. Four tons. That wasn't worth the time that we spent fighting them. <laughs> it just wasn't even remotely worth it. Do you have any food? Eleven tons? Yeah, give it to me, please. Oh, I've got no space. Well, that's crap. Sell some of these guns because whenever we uh, eventually divide up the plunder now in a sec, uh, obviously you only keep. The way it works is you only keep your flagship uh, and a certain amount. Basically, you only keep your flagship and then you can only keep. Oh, escape from Captain Captivity, I'll take that. Oh. Excuse me. I've fallen to the sixth most notorious man. Two gold is not a good price. What are you talking about? Um, uh, just make it, just make it to Havana. Oh god, I didn't realize how far we are still. It doesn't look far, right? Look, we're here. Havana's there. Florida Keys are there. Um, if we can make it to Havana, we can at least stock up on foods. Um, you give me a good price for anything? Yeah, 12. 12 will do. 12 will do, okay. But of course, you're too poor to buy it off me. God's sake. Right. Okay. So that'll do. Consult with the ship, right? We need to repair the ship first. It was damaged in storms there. Which is just a disaster. And again, you have no unique items to give me. And his ship is called the Blood Dead. That's good to know. Let's get out of here. That's okay. They can desert if they wish. It simply means less money for them. The fools. Like, how's, the, how's this supposed to be fun? Like, who designed the game with this in mind that your ship moves that slowly going against the wind? It's just, it's just preposterous. There we go. You got a lot of food. <whistles> now again, we don't want to buy too much of the food because obviously we're about to divide up the plunder and that food's just going to disappear anyway. It's just enough to sort of keep us going until we get to where we're going. So Steve Bonnet We've now found out it's near here. Ain't that just dandy? So, no matter, cast off. Florida Keys, we're almost there, finally. We can sell, hopefully, um, a decent amount of those goods that we have that apparently Florida Keys is offering good money for. Uh, and then, finally, uh, we can divide up the loot let the crew go their separate ways. Obviously, they're not happy. They don't want to stay on the high seas because they're a bunch of crybabies. It's fine, you know. It's, it's fine. Um, oh God, fine, you crybabies. We're literally about to break up. Just shut up. Goddamn crybabies! Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Merchant, fifteen gold apiece for goods. Okay, cool. So he took almost all of them, um, and then I'll sell this ship, because I can't sell these goods. So I'll just dump them, sell the ship, um, obviously keep the flagship, and we'll divide the plunder. So each man gladly takes 85 as his price, we'll keep 1,096, that's fine. So we're going to advance to journeyman captain, basically just means the game will be a little bit harder, the jewels will be a little bit harder. but. We keep a higher percentage of the money when this happens, so. See, I don't see how this makes sense. I kept a thousand, they got 85 each, but for some reason their pile is bigger. 30. Oh, got a hiccup there. 37 gold a piece for luxuries. That is amazing. Right, visit the tavern.
Okay, so basically, folks, what we're going to do, um, because we are still so close to Havana, um, we're going to go try and get this treasure because we need a little jump start financially. Um, search southeast of Havana, Rum Reef, beside Rum Reef. So southeast would be, would just be around here somewhere. Um, it may be quicker actually to sail around the island. Oh, do you know what? As I say, we've betrayed the Spanish. This is a treasure ship. I want the treasure ship. Uh, 140, you know, it's got a lot of guns, 140 tons of cargo space, um, it's a good ship, I can't beat them on firepower at the minute, so I'm going to have to duel, uh, yeah, we, we've got this, don't worry though. So, now that we've upgraded uh, to the next level of captain, you can choose which weapon you use, so I'm going to use the rapier, because it's fastest, and you're going to see my pistol now come into effect. It basically just means in this fight, the, the enemy needs one, basically one hit less to lose. Um, that's really the only difference it makes. You can get more upgrades to the pistols, where again they end up taking, you know, two hits less to lose. But that's the most anyway. It's all good. Welcome aboard. We're going to take everything, and we're going to keep it. So... We need to stop here though uh, and get crew because we literally only have like three crew uh, on, on the ship right now. Um, oh, 30 gold a piece for spice, that's awesome. Uh, tavern, come join my 78 people, that's awesome. I don't care about your news from St. Martin. Steed bonnets around here, that's fine, we already know that. Consult with the shipwright. Um, Prepare my treasure galleon. Um, that's pretty much everything that we wanted to do there, isn't it? So, we now have our even bigger cargo ship. Um, was that a pirate hunter? Did that just say? Uh, nah. There's someone coming out of there. I don't care. Um, no, I just want to land. We need to go find treasure. Well, anchor here. So Havana is there, so we're going to go southeast, which is this way, this way, this, way. yeah, this way, um, and then eventually I hope we'll find what we're looking for in the form of this treasure. We need to keep an eye out for yeah the Vildurgan. It's really close to Vildurgan. Um, wonder if I can still access the map. Uh, Da -da 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 Wonder if it affects the food when you're doing this. Probably does. Probably does. Right, so there's a geyser. Is there a geyser on this map anywhere? There is. Could be the wrong geyser though. So I'm not gonna assume anything. Hmm. Hmm. Starting to think the best bit might have been uh, to have sailed round to the other side of the island and came from there. So. Dead tree, deserted cabin, run reef, Incan temples and stuff. There's no Incan temples around here now. No, there is not. There is not. Shark head, is that on the map? On this map? <laughs> no. No it isn't. I think I know where I'm going now though. I hope. Right, what I'll do is uh, I'll cut until I find the, the place and... Uh, was that it? Ah, we find it. Did we? No we didn't. Yeah we did. Okay, no we didn't. Um, I'll, I'll cut until I find it and I'll, I'll straight back. Hey folks, so quick detour, um, we got back into the ship to go round to the other side of the island. Um, we attacked an English smuggler, got 30 tons of spice, so I stopped at Havana to sell those. And now the guy here uh, is offering me some information about my long lost family from the beginning of the game, if any of you remember. So um, this is basically where the evil Baron Raimundo is, and he has information regarding our lost sister. So 
that's probably one of the main story things and that'll be something we focus on next episode. Um, as for right now, um, we're going to teach some manners to this handsy captain of the guard with my rapier. Yeah. It's just the rapier is so quick that even though it can't block as well, so even if you block with it, sometimes you do get knocked backwards a little bit, but not quite as much as a full hit. But it's just so quick um, that it's hard to lose with it, basically. Oh, and parry, and cut, and oh, and parry, oh dear. Oh, I jumped with terrible timing there. And she smashed a bottle on his face. More men would like to join my crew now. Yay. This town is busting. At the seams, an Indian attack might run off some of the riffraff. So basically with that, if I go to the Indian town, tell them to attack Havana, and then I come back to Havana, I'll be able to recruit a large amount of pirates. Is essentially what that was. But yeah, the we're, we're on our way around to the other side of the island anyway. But I wanted to give you the update about that, about the uh, the quests. So you can see we've got Barney Mendo, Steed Bonnet, Lonnie, Captain Kidd, these two guys, and Treasure. So we've got a busy, busy quest list going on. Um, but yeah, right, again, as I was saying, uh, I'll cut our background at the other side and we're finding the treasure. One second. And we've arrived. So there's Rum Reef there, um, which we've seen uh, on the treasure map as being quite nearby. So I think if we head, so here's Rum Reef, if we head sort of straight inland from here, we should find the treasure quite quickly. And uh, hopefully it is a sizable bounty because we were pretty rich previous and uh, I don't like being a pirate pirate. So. so we've come in here, Arch Rock is there, so it's to the north of the Arch Rock. Please. Okay, so this is an Inca temple. So it should be right here then. Just past the Inca temple. Hmm. I got lost again. It's possible. It's possible. It's probable. Right, so we'll go back in here a sec. We're back in this way, so. There's the Inca Temple, okay? There, there's the treasure right there, hiding from me. All along. All along. But it's gonna be crap. Like 2000 or something. I can live with that. Return back to the ship and uh, we will quickly port in Ville de Rugen so we can buy some more food because we're starving again for some reason. This has never happened to me before um, where food has been an issue. I've always had too much. <laughs> but anyway, with that. Um, what we'll do today is call quits uh, about here. Um, you know, so we defeated Jean Lafayette, one of the most notorious pirates in the world, and we then stole. Um, where is he? Steed Bonnet, third most, most notorious pirate. We stole his treasure. Uh, we went to fifth, fell to sixth, and then rose up to fifth again. So um, we're making solid progress. But um, yeah, for now that that'll do it for this episode. Uh, again, uh, I'll see you next week. Bye bye.